Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the films that I watched during the month of October, so stick around. So I was able to watch at least one movie a day during the month of October. Of course, there's 31 days in October, so that means I watched 31 films. So today I thought I would go over my letterbox account and tell you a little bit about what I watched. Um, some of these I may have memories of, some of these I may not, so I might elaborate a little bit on, on them, but I'll also let you know what I thought about the film as far as the rating I gave it. So first up, I watched Wrath of Man. This right here was a first time watch. I gave it two stars and a like. I enjoyed this movie for the most part. It wasn't the best action film, but I enjoyed the story about this father and his son and what happened with them. Um, I highly recommend you check that out. The next movie that I watched was A Night to Remember. This right here is a Criterion release um, about the Titanic. Um, first time I watched this one, I gave it three and a half stars out of five and a like. I enjoyed it. Um, for the time period, I thought it was very close to the actual events and the people that were involved in the Titanic crash um, or that were were on the ship at that time um, were a part of the story, so it made a little bit more um, realistic to me. Next up, I watched Romeo and Juliet. <clears throat> I gave it one and a half stars. I didn't really care much for this one. Um, it was a first time watch. It was okay. Um, the style was pretty unique, but just the, the language, the, the Shakespearean language was really hard to follow, so I really couldn't get into it. Okay, the next one I watched was Itsy Bitsy. I gave this one star. I did not like this film at all. Um, you would think that there would be more of a spider with that title, but there wasn't. Um, it was a pretty bad movie, acting-wise and story-wise. Okay, next up, I watched Talk to Me. I gave it three and a half stars and a like. I really enjoy this movie. I like the brutalness of the. Um, I like the brutalness of it. Um, I had to turn my head away a few times because of how brutal it got. Um, but I enjoyed the story. There was a, a few jump scares in it, so I really liked that. Highly recommend you check out Talk to Me. Okay, next up, I watched the Psycho films. I watched all four Psycho films, <clears throat> parts one, two, three, and four. Um, of course, I'd seen part one before, uh, which I love. It's a masterpiece, in my opinion. I thought it was one of the best. Part one gets five stars and a heart. Psycho 2, I had seen this one before, but many years ago. I gave it three stars and a like. I enjoyed that story. Um, Actually, Psycho 3 only got two stars and a like. I enjoyed it for what it was, but it had lost the... I don't know, I just didn't get into it as much as I thought I would. And I don't remember ever seeing that one before. And then Psycho 4, the beginning, got two stars and a heart. So the Part 3 and Part 4 were okay. They weren't the best. Um, but as far as Part 1, excellent. Part 2 was great, so I enjoyed those. If you haven't seen all of the Psycho films, I highly recommend you check that out. And then, next up, I watched Pumpkinhead. This was a first time watch. I watched this 4K release. Excellent film. I thought it was very um, stylistic of um, the um, cinematography with the practical effects. Um, the Pumpkinhead creature was excellent. The story was great. Um, the location was great. So I really enjoyed Pumpkinhead. Um, next up, and of course, I gave Pumpkinhead two and a half stars out of five and a heart. Um, Smile is the next one I watched. This was two and a half stars and the like. I enjoyed this one for what it was. Um, it was creepy at times, but not very, not much of a horror movie. Um, I don't know. It was kind of lacking what I wanted or what I was expecting. I had I, I had high expectations, but I still enjoyed it. Okay, next up, I watched Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I gave this one star. I did not like this at all. It was terrible. Um, I don't know. I guess I wasn't really expecting much out of this film. I think it's kind of weird that they would do a movie like this. Um, the killers in the film weren't very believable. I don't know, it was just a terrible story. I just didn't like it. It looked pretty good though. Um, next up, I watched the Wild I watched Wildling. I really enjoyed this story. This right here I gave um, this right here got two stars and a heart. 
story overall was pretty good kind of interesting um but you didn't really get to see the creature as much as i wanted to see but but it was still a good story i enjoyed it i'm glad i watched it um, next up uh, was a second time watch for me. I watched Renfield. It gets three stars and a heart. I always, um, I say I always, this is only my second time watching it, but I really enjoyed this one. I think it's done very well. Um, Nicholas Cage is great. Um, I think Nicholas Holt, of course, is the standout in this. I enjoyed the visual effects of it all and just very well done. I, I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. Next up, I watched a first, for the first time um, I watched The Fablemans. It gets three stars in a heart. It's been sitting in my watch pile for a very long time. I was finally able to watch it. Um, I don't know. I really enjoyed this one. Like I said, um, it got three stars in a heart. And it was, I don't know, it was just really good. Definitely worth a watch. It was kind of long, but story-wise it kept me entertained. It kept me wanting to figure out um to continue on with the story so i was never bored with it i thought it was very well done um next up i watched megan levy this right here was a, a first time watch i gave it two stars and a heart um i always enjoy a movie with about a dog and i also enjoy films that are based on true life events and so this was really good um it wasn't as good as i thought it was going to be but i still enjoyed it um, so, like I said, I gave it two stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Zombie Fight Club. This one I hated. It was I gave it half of a star, no likes. Um, I just didn't get into the story. The story overall was pretty dull. Um, don't ever want to see it again. I'll keep it, though. Next up, I watched um, Haunted Mansion. I gave this one two and a half stars and a like. I thought they did a really good um, Haunted Mansion film. I really enjoyed it. It was entertaining. Um, the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion film was also entertaining, but I, I do like the way that this one looked. Of course, it's more modernized because of the um, it being a 2023 film makes it a lot better as far as the visual look of it. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Pretty good story. Um, next up, I watched The Blob for the first time. I gave it two and a half stars and a like. Really enjoyed it. Like I said, I'd never seen this one before. I thought it was a very good creature feature and very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, the next one I watched was Sleepy Hollow. Um, I gave this one three star, three and a half stars and a like. It's the second time I've ever, I've ever watched it. Really love this story. Visually, it looks great. Um, Johnny Depp is perfect. Um, Christina Ricci is a great um, uh, character in this film. And so, excellent film. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story, and I definitely enjoyed the ending of it. Okay, next up. I watched The Outwaters. I gave it two stars. I didn't really care for this film. It's a found footage film. And for the most part, the first half of this was really dull. The second half was really dark. You couldn't really see what was going on. I just, it wasn't very good. Um, I was surprised because I know that this release sold out pretty quickly, especially with the slipcover. I was expecting more, but I did not like it. Um, next up, I watched Tell No One. This right here, I gave two stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. This is a French film. So there were subtitles. There was a lot going on. So it was really kind of hard to follow and read subtitles at the same time. So it definitely deserves a second watch later on. But I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was very well done. The story was great. Um, next up was the first time watch. I watched The Entity. I had never seen this one before. Um, I watched this one. I thought it was a pretty good um, paranormal story based off of true events. A little adult. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good film. Next up, I watched A Lonely Place to Die. This right here was a recommendation. I gave this three stars and a heart. Great movie. Um, you kind of get two stories in here. You get the story about the rock climbing, and then you get a story about a kidnapping, which was very well done. I really enjoyed this film. Highly recommend you check that one out if you've never seen it. Next up, I watched The Lesson. Um, this one I gave one half star. I did not like this one. It had, it was very dull. Um, very, very dull. There were some good elements to it as far as some of the violence in it, but other than that, it wasn't any good. 
Um, next up, I watched um, Clown. I gave this two and a half stars and a like. Very good story. Um, very good effects as far as makeup effects. Um, the story is really easy to follow. I was my expectations were a little bit higher than um, what I ended up um, getting. So I was a little bit disappointed, but overall it's a really good film. I enjoy it. And then as we got closer to Halloween, I watched The Addams Family. Always a fun watch. I try to watch this at least once a year. Um, I love The Addams Family, and so I was happy to revisit that one. Um, the Addams Family gets three stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Cujo. This was just a second time watch, and since we got the 4K release, I watched this one. Um, Cujo gets three stars and a heart. It is a very good adaptation from Stephen King, and I enjoy the story. Um, I find it very believable, and so very happy um, to have the 4K release. Next up, I watched The Others. I got the 4K release with a slip. Um, this right here was a third time watch, I believe, and it had been a very long time since I'd seen this one. It gets three and a half stars and a heart. Great ghost story. If you've never seen it, definitely go into it blindly and enjoy it. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I did. And again, with the Halloween season, I watched Casper. I love Casper. Um, it brings back a lot of memories of my kids when they were little. And um, I was very happy to revisit this one. It had been a couple of years. Like I said, I gave it three stars and a heart. Just a great family movie with some really good visual effects and the set dressing and all that things, all those things with the house. It was just amazing. I love it. And then on Halloween, I always try to watch this film every Halloween, and that's the original Halloween. I really enjoy this one, and just an amazing film. It's I don't know how many times I watched it. That gives four stars and a heart. It's one of my favorites. But those are all the films that I watched during the month of October. Hopefully you were able to watch some really great films, probably a lot of horror films. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about what I watched. And also let me know what you watched during the month of October because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.